Hey guys, I'm going to start off with a room tour, even though I'm not introduced the vlog yet, but I'll have the introduction later. So it's such a nice room. The only thing is I am not in hijab, so I have to be careful what I show you. On the right hand side is the bathroom. And then here we've got some wardrobes. I've already popped my coat here. And then we've got an iron and an ironing board here as well. A safe. We've got robes here as well. Then somewhere here to open your suitcase. Remember we had this in Bali and it's just such a nice touch because it means that you can you have to like be on the floor with it, you know. And we've got a lovely king size bed. Nice uh, water there. I love this. Look, we've got a nice mirror. Lovely desk. I can sit here and do a bit of editing, catch up with some work because I'm feeling really behind with that and obviously use wi-fi and it's a very blue theme here as you can see like so and that is the sofa and then we've got some privacy blinds and we're on the fourth floor okay, on the first floor is the swimming pool so that's where we're going to be chilling out tomorrow and that's open to 8 p.m every day you can see there's like cute little pods as well really looking forward to just relaxing by the pool never done this before guys never ever stayed in the five star before and then there's a gym down there. You can see some people on the treadmill. It's lovely. It's really nice and private, really nice and quiet. Kids and stuff, but it's not too loud at all. And as soon as you come in the room, it's just nice and quiet and relaxing. Alhamdulillah, it's like the first time ever staying in a five star. What better time to do it than a baby moon, eh? I am going to set up the gender reveal for car in this room, hopefully. I have the stuff in my suitcase, which is over there. We're just exhausted, honestly. Like, it was such broken sleep, such a long day of travelling. So this is a bathroom. I like this. It's like you can close this off so you can have a bit of privacy when you're using the toilet. And then... This is a lovely sink, the tap, these are the toiletries. And then this is the lovely shower. How nice is that? We've got a great big shower head there, different shower head there. Hey guys, so while we're guys in the shower, I'm gonna decorate the room, mostly the bed to be honest, but with this because obviously you guys will know by now we would have had a baby girl. Inshallah, inshallah. He thinks he's 80% sure that he knows what it is, and I think he has guessed somehow. Are we seeing my vision? Are we seeing it? <laughs> I feel like I should make it a bit bigger though. I do have another pack. And then I'm gonna vlog his reaction, but I probably won't put it in the vlog. I keep that like private for us. But yeah. Yay, exciting. So yeah, this is what we've got. Look, ah, how cute. These. And then I've just put some hanging stuff there. It's the best I could do <laughs> on a very, very fast turnaround time. So, are you ready to find out the gender of our first baby, Hinchal? Yes. I don't know if I'm ready. Guys, how cool is the hallway? So these are what the room numbers look like. Ready for our first night in Istanbul together. How are you feeling, Wukar? Buzzing. <laughs> oh yeah, I, woke up, I just found out the agenda of the baby. <laughs> both thought it was going to be the opposite agenda, but we're both absolutely buzzing, alhamdulillah. Now I'm going to do my makeup in the car. I really need to get... Let me just show you guys quickly. This is what I am wearing. <laughs> As my scarf, and obviously it's fine for travelling, it's quite good. Give me coverage, bump at 21 weeks, alhamdulillah. Definitely need to get some more proper hijabs tomorrow. No more car ordering a VIP taxi. <laughs> Very nice. We're going to... Guys, the weather is so nice. It's literally like warm. Yeah, what just, it? yeah, I saw it, I think. There is a lovely mosque next to us. And literally saw it, I was like, is that the blue mosque? Or I said, no, they all look amazing. Because I last came here when I was 18. So it's literally been a decade since I've been a to decade? Istanbul. A whole decade. Oh, that's what I want to do. <laughs> this is what I want, guys. <laughs> Guys, look at this massive building. It's called Istanbul Modern. No, guys. Whoa. It's like a whole street, just square buildings. So They're what are you saying? They're trying to get that Western is, culture. Yeah, because look, literally the old architecture of the mosque there. And then there's a Turkey flag. And this is huge. Yeah, JBR. This was definitely not a thing 10 years ago. <laughs> like JBR, yeah. So it, down here basically is a walk. JBR walk basically. Okay. Restaurants and rest, all that sort of stuff. But perfect weather. Because for a second we were thinking about going to Dubai. Baby Moon, but the Dubai in August. No. 
this is a walkway, like Burger King, Popeyes. Thanks, Guys, the food is here. The gloves are on. <laughs> Time to munch. Is it good? The guy is saying these are the best chips I've ever had in my whole life. Bold claim, bold claim. Ah, you're still here. I came three months ago. I had like 10 flowers. <laughs> 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 Guys, look how cute this ice cream thing is. Ugh, so adorable. It's literally like seven foot tall. morning from Istanbul. We got up this morning, had breakfast. I forgot to take the camera, so I will take it tomorrow instead, but we basically got up quite late. We ended up getting up at around like 10 past 10 and breakfast was just at 10.30. Um, and we had paid for breakfast, so I was like, we are going to go to breakfast right now. Literally just pulled this dress on, put my towel dress turban on. Guys, I've been, like literally, it's been so hard because we literally just moved last week and then I haven't unpacked like anything. So I only, like I said, I only have this jar there. And so we went into the mall to get a SIM card between us, at least one, because we're only here for a few days. And I thought I'd find a nice hijab shop. Nothing, absolutely nothing, which is so annoying. So it's fine. We're just gonna have to make do with this for now. And we did go to the supermarket, which is in the mall. Um, but this one is, I don't know, I'm gonna try and say the name, but this is the supermarket we went to. And then, yeah, now we are going to get into our swimwear and go and enjoy the pool. There's only two people in there at the moment. And then that's the sea. The actual sea is starting to get blue now. Like it's very humid. It's like 29 degrees and it's super humid. It's also like windy as well. So can't wait to get into the pool and just enjoy it since we basically like built this hotel for that reason. But yeah, how nice is it to just come back to like a freshly made bed, like new towels. I didn't realize that they bring water every day for us, which is so sweet. Oh yeah, these are my snacks. Lots and lots of snacks. <laughs> Excuse my face, I look like a mess. But yeah, basically tomorrow, uh, today we're gonna be going to Modernista as well, which I'm so excited about. So we're gonna go to Modernista and then tomorrow my family are coming. Now they've just put the itinerary on the family group and what they want to do tomorrow, I would like to have done on Wednesday because <laughs> we're still here tomorrow. We're still into this, this part here, but let's see what they manage to get done. I don't think they're gonna get everything on their list. So, uh, and on Wednesday, their plan is to do the glasses side of things, which I have been to and I have seen like 10 years ago. And I'll, like, I'm sure it's changed. I'm sure everything's developed, everything's better, but I personally still feel like <laughs> I don't really want to do a glasser because I know it's a lot of hills. Even like just walking to the supermarket, we have to go up and down a couple of hills. And obviously, like when you're pregnant, you are supposed to be staying active, but I don't want to get exhausted because like I'm expecting, you know what I mean? I said, even if we just end up meeting for dinners and stuff, Thursday, I think we're going to do what they're doing. And they've got another plan to go to another part of Istanbul, which is nice. I just can't wait to see them. I've not seen them since I was 12 weeks and now we're 21 weeks. So be really lovely to see them in Jalal. Yeah, I'm very grateful to be here, alhamdulillah. I'm wondering how deep that pool is though, because I'm not a very strong swimmer, but I kind of just want to sit in the water and then go and sit on the pool side. You can rent out the cabanas as well. And you basically, like when you rent it out, you get it for the whole day. Oh, but yeah, how, how are you finding this so far, Bukhar? I love this one. Sorry, Salam guys, I've really been a very bad vlogger this trip. It's okay, you know, it's more for like us to enjoy and relax than vlog, but I thought I would just jump on. Basically, we went yesterday, I went into the port and it was freezing. I don't know why I thought they'd have maybe like they slightly heat the water. The water was freezing cold, cloudy, windy, but humid. So as we went out, it was okay, we got dried, but it wasn't really weather you'd want to like stay in the pool in. And even today, like it's supposed to be sunny. Tomorrow, and the day after that, the day after that, it's supposed to be super sunny all day. <laughs> so it's just our luck that the days that we came 
we did not get to enjoy the sun but it's okay inshallah tomorrow is our final morning today's plan is to go to visit the ayub ansari mosque so if you guys haven't read up or know much about ayub ansari they were one of the sahabas there's a lot of islamic history in turkey one thing i will say though it's my first time here in 10 years and i just feel like there's such a big crazy start divide between like east and west islamic and not really like very islamic people especially because we're staying on the outskirts as well i was saying to guys like maybe like when, when i get into the center of istanbul it'll be different but then he was like nah he came here in may when i was in my first trimester still he came for a trip for one of his boys who was getting married he was like no like inside Assembles even more, and that's just the state of the world, I guess. Alhamdulillah, we've had a good trip, we've had a good experience so far. This hotel is lovely, like every day, room service, like freshened up, tidied up. I was like, literally, how much would it cost to have, have <laughs> this kind of service on a day to day in the UK? <laughs> I was like it cost too much <laughs> but this is what you know you're paying a lot of money so it's one of the perks we did look into massages here they're a little bit on the pricey side to be honest I, I had a massage the week that we moved first of my lovely father-in-law Abu paid for a massage for me and I feel like that's fine for me I'm feeling good the only thing that I'm really noticing is that I'm 21 weeks and she this week will be 22 weeks is my feet are like getting so swollen it's not fun at all especially in the evenings and shoes that i brought that like from clark's size six and a half and they're wedges and they're comfortable they're super comfortable when i like put, put them on but then literally within like an hour or two they just end up becoming so uncomfortable that's just like part of pregnancy isn't it it's just you know you end up getting swelling and it's just it is what it is i really like this outfit today so i'm wearing a shirt from h&m and i'm wearing this skirt from pretty little thing and it's got a really cute little section for the bump then this hijab i purchased from modernisa yesterday so oh yes i didn't even talk to you guys about that so bukhari literally made one of my like hijabi dreams come true <laughs> he took me to the modernisa which what is that place called bukhari that um strip zurgut zurgut port is basically like like a lot of the islamic shops are we went to modernisa it was so cool to see it in real life that is like uh, honestly the prices are pretty much the same if not you're paying more because you end up paying 10 percent tax on top of whatever you brought and obviously like with modernisa like the website a lot of the times you can get shipping and they have like these big sales and stuff so basically the stuff that i really loved i brought i'll show you guys a haul later on inshallah other stuff that i liked we just took a picture of the code and i ordered it when i got back inshallah obviously i do have to be careful because we have less wardrobe space in this apartment so i can't be going crazy like this like this it's nice actually like that it? even though the prices are basically the same i would say it's still worth going if you are a modernista fan because I was in this on Instagram, basically a lot of times I find that the website can be quite overwhelming and it's hard to like find stuff that you really like, whereas obviously in store they're going to create the best of the best. I like saw so many nice things. Really excitedly, my family and my parents have arrived today, alhamdulillah. It's going to be nice to see them, so we're going to meet up with them for dinner because it's my brother's birthday as well today. Mashallah, he's 24 today. Really funny, I was like, oh, how's it feel to be 24? And he was like, yeah. I'm not going to lie, I keep thinking about how like I kept calling you old when you got to this age. <laughs> and he's like, I do feel old though, I do feel old. It's like, yeah, but you're not. You're older. You're not old, 24 is young. My 24th birthday, my card, do you remember? That's when you did the treasure hunt. That was so cute. You know, like the last couple of years have been about us relaxing, catching up on rest and enjoying. And it's not really vloggable, but today we're going to have more stuff to vlog. Excited to show you like the Ayub and Sari part. And then obviously we're going to have the famous cheesecake from the Galata area the San Sebastian cheesecake. If you guys want to know like other people's recommendations for Istanbul, then I have added them onto my highlights on my Instagram, so you can go and check that out. Let's see how they do. Mashallah, mashallah. Where's everything from? Can't tell you that. <laughs> Hijab is Modernisa, Tabu is Tadrasi, and I'm wearing my sliders. <laughs> I'm hoping no one really knows, but swallow feet problems we like. So we're in the taxi now. And we just read up some of the history of Abu Ayyub and Ansari. And subhanAllah, I didn't actually realise, like, I knew they were one of the Sahabas. I didn't realise the actual significance that they hold. Obviously, every Sahaba is very special. But some of the facts that we just learnt or relearnt, they were the ones who paid for the land from the two orphans who owned the land where uh, Mashallah Nabi is currently. The orphans who owned that land, they wanted to give it to Rasulullah Sallam for free and gift it to them. But Rasulullah Sallam said, no, you guys are orphans, we want to buy it from you. And Ayub al Ansari actually ended up paying for that, subhanAllah. They also never stepped away from battle from a chance to establish Islam. And Bukhari said that they were the ones who hosted Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when they came to is it Medina Park? For the first six months. Someone said migrated. Yeah. So I'm very excited to like go to the masjid and see their tomb as well. So much history steeped in this. Like we've had a we've had a very relaxing trip so far. But now inshallah it's gonna be a learning and 
you know, the spiritual side of things, which I'm very much looking forward to. You were sent down to the world to teach us how to live. A mercy for us all, our blessing, our gift. Like the morning sun, you rose with a message. The more I learn to live, wish that I can be somebody that can live just like you did. And now that I know my life's been such a bliss, I promise that I'll always keep on doing what you did. Lord, make me someone just like this. Do -do 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 -do. So humid, it's like to rain now. A lot of it, which is good. So we just got back to the hotel, sat in the, one of the nice outside areas. It's our last night here. It's been so nice. So the last clip I filmed that cheesecake place, San Sebastian. Weirdly, we bumped into another couple from Dundee. I didn't know them at all, but Walker well, knows the guy. And they were newlyweds, they just got married like past weekend. They ended up queuing with us, so we ended up sitting with them. And then my parents, my family were on the Galata Tower as we were waiting for our cheesecake. So it was just so weird. So I had said to the I was like, imagine if we bump into like the family in Galata. The I was like, you know, there's like 4 million people in Istanbul. Did you say that? 20 million people in Istanbul, like oh, that was gonna happen. And then literally dad called me like, we're just, he's like, I just finished praying, everyone else is on the tower, where are you guys? I was like, oh my goodness, so we're like right next to the tower. <laughs> they came and sat down, mum and dad were so, like they're all so tired, lesson, but yeah, mum and dad especially were so tired. They left from Pakistan like 3.30 a.m. Pakistan time. Obviously it's a very, very broken sleep on the plane and traveling, it's just exhausting, isn't it? So we had that, they really dropped them back to their hotel. And then me, Ukar and the, my siblings, the kids, <laughs> we went to... Where'd you go? Smiley Chef. Smiley Chef. Uh, who I hadn't actually heard of him until Wakar showed me him like a couple of weeks ago. But yeah, his restaurant. It was nice. We had like a big platter. I forgot to vlog it because we were just chatting away. But a big platter. Turkish like... <laughs> Very nice, mashallah. And then we end up going back and dropping them to the hotel. Our hotel is about like a good 40 minutes out, but from tomorrow until we're moving closer to the central. I actually forgot how hilly the old Istanbul is. Oh, I've got to talk about the um, Ayyub al Masjid. Masjid. Very beautiful, mashallah. Like, even the lady session was very, very, very small. But it was so, like, so nice seeing like, so many children there just praying, like doing their salah. So peaceful where their resting places. So many beautiful little cats. And then I ended up buying quite a few hijabs, like maybe about four or five hijabs. They weren't bad prices either. This one from Modernista just I managed to get a pin as well. <laughs> just to like keep it in, but it's still slipping back. I uh, didn't do too much shopping, no one do too much shopping, but just walking around the area was really nice. Tomorrow we're doing traditional, sort of like the blue mosque, Sultana Met. Closing thoughts on day three, Bukhar? <laughs> Istanbul sick. Yes, Istanbul is sick. <laughs> and we are definitely enjoying our baby moon. You could have had the world, but you left it where it is. A beacon full of hope to the orphans you would give. Before you had to go, you left us with one wish. That we would see the truth and follow it. And the more I get...